The heat of passion can make even the strongest man feel powerless. But when this man's passion turned to rage, it cost a young woman her life. Our number three act of love gone wrong led to the tragic death of Dominique Dunn. She was just a delight. She, from the very moment I met her, she was, um, had a light inside her. In 1982, Dominique Dunn enjoyed a charmed life. Her father was the producer, Dominic Dunn, who's now a very successful crime writer. And uh, her brother was Griffin Dunn, and she was uh, a moderately successful actress at that time. Dominique was beautiful, in love, and her acting career was taking off. I met Dominique on the set of Poltergeist, which was her first film. Dominique's boyfriend, John Sweeney, was also on the fast track. He was the assistant chef at the Pa Chalet restaurant, Ma Maison. For all their passion and promise, there was a dark side to the relationship. According to reports, John became obsessive and controlling. Sweeney went borderline stalker. He was following her to classes. He was showing up on sets to show she was working on. Dunn ended the relationship in September of 1982. On October 30th, Dominique was rehearsing for a television pilot called V with actor David Packer. There was a knock on her door. It was John Sweeney. Dominique is a bit worried at this point, but she tells her friend that she's running lines with, I can handle this, and she steps outside and talks to Sweeney. From inside the house, David Packer heard angry voices. He heard uh, kicking, and then he heard uh, Dominique scream a couple of times. As the screams continued, Packer placed a frantic call to a friend. He left a message on the answering machine that, that said, if I die tonight, John Sweeney did it. The shocking thing was that someone could have been inside the house had heard her scream, I believe, and didn't go out and do anything to try and stop it. Then David called the police. Finally, he went outside. He saw Sweeney with his hands around her neck. When police officers arrived, Sweeney had his hands in the air. John confessed, I killed my girlfriend. My first impression was that he was concerned with himself more than he was uh, Miss Dunn. Dominique Dunn lay unconscious in the driveway. She was taken to Cedar sinai Medical Center, where she died five days later. Dominique was only 22 years old. Sweeney was charged with murder. The case went to trial in August of 1982. The coroner ultimately testified that uh, the strangulation of Dominique Dunn took at least four minutes. The prosecutor also attempted to establish a history of abuse. A former girlfriend of John Sweeney's was ready to testify that he had put her in the hospital with beatings. The court ruled that evidence inadmissible. On September 21st, 1983, the eight-man, four-woman jury found John Sweeney guilty of manslaughter. Maximum sentence, six years. The tragedy is that he was only sentenced to six years. He killed somebody. That man should have been put away for the rest of his life. I was absolutely stunned when I heard the verdict. I was furious. I was enraged. Sweeney was released from prison after two and a half years. A mere four months later, Sweeney landed a job as head chef at the Chronicle, a popular restaurant in Santa Monica. Dominique's family was outraged. The Dunn family would actually show up with picket signs saying, the hands that are preparing this meal are the hands that strangled my sister or daughter. John Sweeney eventually changed his name and left California. I think she had tremendous potential, and it would be wonderful to be able to see where she would have gone with that. So it's really incredibly sad, and it's our loss.